Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am finally back after a nice, beautiful Comic-Con weekend. Uh, I am tired as all hell, but it is a good kind of tired. Because all I did all weekend was nerd the fuck out. And, you know, spend my money on things I don't need. Well, maybe not, maybe not don't need, but... You know, <laughs> definitely want pretty bad. <laughs> so I am just taking care of a couple of things really quick. And then I shall brief you on what's going on. Okay, so. Just on pause, make sure we're going here. Very good. Tonight is, uh, if you're watching this live, <laughs> tonight is the very first night of our new, let's say, uh, trial format here. I don't know how long it's going to be in trial. I think we're, we're pretty good with this. Uh, so what I've done here is essentially halted all pre-recorded Let's Play stuff, right? So whatever is already uploaded is staying that way. From here on out, I'm going to continue those uh, live. So if you're watching this in the future... It was recorded live, if you haven't figured it out by now. Uh, and then uh, what I'm planning on doing is probably cutting these down to about, uh, you know, 30, 45 minute chunks just to make them a little more uh, easier to watch, you know, so they're not six hours long. So, yeah, we're here and I don't remember what I was doing. I know I have a club key. I don't remember where I should use that because it has been quite a while. It's been like probably a week since I played the game, week and a half since I played this game. I know I need to go back towards the police station. I know that because I'm in the, the sewers, the way out. Well, it will be the way out eventually. Uh, so let's make our way back. And I'm running low on bullets, aren't I? Yeah, that's a full clip. That's a good sure. Oh my god! Somebody texted me and I get I run into a spider. You see what happens? Nobody texted me. It was my phone going off for no reason. You know. Fucking cell phone. I really hope he didn't just poison me. Nah, he just put me on fucking orange caution, you fuck bag. Jesus Christ, now, now I'm on danger. My god. We're off to a fucking running start right now. Oh, yeah, go up the light only on. Get out of here. Oh, he's gonna break out now, isn't he? Oh, nope, maybe not. Okay. You know, I didn't check my item box. I hope this is not like the wrong save I loaded up. I don't think it is. But yeah, anything possible. God damn it. I'm, not, I'm gonna die when I get to this hallway here. Oh, no. Because I have no health. And if I didn't kill them already, there's liquors in this hallway. works. Uh, I still need a card key for this, which I don't have. Everything here has been in otherwise, right? That door on the right, does that need the cloak key? I don't think it does, but I guess it can't hurt to look right. Oh, it's actually real. Oh! This key is useless now. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck me. And I forgot to drop off the ink ribbon. Oh, man. What's here? I need to pick up. It's in this thing. Or it's not in that thing. Or not that either. 
the fuck am I looking for then? Ah! Red car key. Now I'm Alright, who's awake? Oh my god! Run! Oh, I'm dead. Peace out. Motherfucker. Okay, let's not get hit by spiders this time. How about that? Fucking douchebag spider. Ruined everything. PK, what's up? What is going on? Just fucking, you know, sucking at Resident Evil 2 here. Well, you know, that's life. Oh, wait. Let me go back and drop the fucking ink ribbon. Comic-Con was a blast. Uh, I have to admit, I bought way less this year than I normally do. Like, usually I go for broke and just buy tons of random shit that I don't even need. This year, I, I was I was very reserved. I bought I bought myself a stack of comics and this little uh, this little GB Mega Man figure I have sitting on my desk now. And I was like, you know what? I am good. I don't need to spend any more money. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this mixer with me. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I went into um, I tried to get into the all that reunion panel, but uh, I showed up like an hour and a, an hour and a half early, and the line was still capped off. They like they were sending people away, so I couldn't get into that. Uh, I went to a, a, on Friday night, I went to a really cool, um, <laughs> aww, I went to a really cool, uh, I don't know if you're into, uh, pro wrestling or not, I went to this really cool panel about this guy who was making a comic book about somebody who's trying to become a pro wrestler, and he actually has, oh god, pro wrestlers working on the comic with him, which is really fucking cool, so they were talking about that and shit. God damn it. I'm in danger again. Uh, on Saturday, uh, I went to, which I, it really felt like it was cobbled together really quick. It was the, uh, the League of Super Critics panel. I don't know if you know that YouTube channel. That's the YouTube channel that was started by uh, the Channel Awesome guys, like the Nostalgia Critic. And yeah, it was pretty cool. They just they had nothing planned, so they were just doing like a Q&A. Just kind of chilling, you know? And I'm definitely gonna die again here, but I got this. All right. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was it was really cool. Uh, like I said, they had really nothing planned, so it was just, they were just like, "Yeah, there's a microphone over there, so whoever, whoever just wants to come up and ask us questions, by all means, just just come over." So uh, I, being my reserved self, really didn't say anything, but I was sitting there like. Uh, Taking pictures and stuff. It was pretty cool. But those are the only two panels I was able to get myself into. The rest of the time, I was just walking the floor with my friends, looking at all the stuff that I wasn't going to buy. <laughs> it was really cool. A lot of fun. You should try to make it sometime. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, fuck all you guys. So I need to go over to this door. So yeah, amongst the, I don't know how uh, how into uh, comics you are personally, but uh, they just over the past few months they started uh, Spider Gwen, which I really haven't gotten into. Read. Thank you for being glad that I had fun. Thank you <laughs> uh, that uh, I haven't started reading yet. My friend has been telling me like every time I see him, dude, you have to read Spider Gwen. It's so amazing. You have to read it. So I walked up to this guy. Obviously, there's like a million different dudes selling comics there. Walked up to this one comic booth. And the guy had the first five issues of Spider-Gwen, like, bundled with uh, her, like, one of her first appearances in, like, the Spider-Verse Spider comics for, like, 25 bucks. It's so, like, all right, I bought that, so now I have reading to do. <laughs> Shotgun shells. Fuck yeah. And handgun bullets. Suddenly our ammo situation is not that bad anymore. Handgun bullets. Oh, wait. Hmm. 
Do I want the machine gun or the side pack? I think I'm gonna go with the side pack and leave the machine gun. I think. I know whatever I leave is gonna be here in the Clara B when I come back around, so I think I want her to have the machine gun. Because I already have a Magnum. So I think I'm good with weapons, so I'll take the side pack. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard, like, really awesome things about it. So I hope Spider Gwen is awesome. Uh, I also bought, um,. This other comic guy had this Legend of Zelda comic, which I knew the Nintendo comic system existed, but I never got around to reading it, reading any of them, and I never, like, I didn't know it was, like, that big of a collector's item. But he had one that was in, like, mint condition for 50 bucks, and I was like, well, I mean, this is cool, and I like, you know, obscure video game related shit, but I'm really not about to pay $50 for a Zelda comic. He's like, well, if you want it, they just, like, holding on to random shit. He goes, I have one that has a tiny little tear in the front for 20 bucks. So I was like, all right. And so I have that sitting on my shelf now for, for 20 bucks. And I also got for, I think it was, I want to say it was like five or six bucks, one of the original run Power Rangers comics from the 90s, which was amazing. Oh, it's, it's so awful. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna go now. Did I did I miss something in here? Cause like the only thing that was in that room was the car key. Nope. Oh, I can't take both of them, but he says I, could pro I should probably leave it for Claire. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Power Rangers all day. I know. <laughs> I was at the uh, the Power the Bandai Power Rangers booth, and like they had all these glass cases showing like all their the figures and stuff they're selling. Which I don't know if you're aware, but they're bringing back like all the original Power Rangers merchandise. Like you can buy the Dragon Dagger again. You can buy all the original like Zords toys and stuff. And on the top of the booth, they just had a like a giant ass TV just playing episodes of Power Rangers on loop all day long. It was like the most amazing thing in the world. I mean, not that you can't just go watch him on Netflix, but still, it was beautiful. <laughs> and I still don't know where I'm supposed to fucking go from here. Oh, what do I need? I need one of the plugs. Where is the last plug? I. I'm gonna run upstairs really quick. Try to regain my bearings here. Actually, yeah, 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 I'm running upstairs. God damn it, I don't remember anything because it's been so long since I played this game. <laughs> uh, need to look through my item box again really fast. Well, this is convenient. There should be an item box across the hall from here. and what I don't have. Right, so... Oh, I got them all. Oh! Fuck, I came all the way back here for no reason. Except to use that club key. Well... Whatever. I guess that's life, right? Back to the sewers. You were five when Resident Evil 2 came out. Don't feel bad. I think I was like uh, seven or eight. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't much older than you. It's just, I had a really cool mom. <laughs> My mom has always been into like, B-horror movies and stuff. She's always liked that shit. 
So when she's seen the game, the only reason I'm into Resident Evil now is because she's seen this just sitting on the shelf. She's like, oh my god, must have. <laughs> Damn straight cool as fuck, mom. <laughs> uh, I believe it is this way. Before I make a fool of myself. Ah, see, that's the wrong way. It is this way. <laughs> Sesame Street. Well, I was watching Bill Nye the Science Guy, so. <laughs> Which was on the same channel. <laughs> Which, incidentally, is also on Netflix now, if you ever want to check that out. Watch, they're going to break out of the, the, the cages now. Guaranteed. Or not. Peace out. Well, yeah, I don't know if you know, my friend actually pointed this out to me. I don't know if, if, uh, how much into, like, uh, like, punk music you're into or any kind of rock. But if you know the band Suicidal Tendencies, fucking Bill Nye had, a, had an episode where at the end... They parodied um, Institutionalized, and it's so amazing. I forget which episode it is, but you'll, you'll find it eventually if, you, if, you're, if you're into it. Oh, yeah, you know who they are then. Okay, so you know exactly what it is when it comes on. <laughs> and I forgot I got a boss right here. Fuck me. Please die. Oh god. Oh god, there's a thing on me. No, get off me. I have a feeling they poisoned me. Got him. Get off me, you bastards. Shit, I'm on danger. Back to the safe room. Back to the safe room. Oh. Yeah, fuck those spiders indeed. I don't do spiders either. I I have an an abnormal fear of bugs. <laughs> like a fly will come through my window and I'll scream like a little bitch. That's how much I hate bugs. I wasted a lot of health this episode, which doesn't make me happy. Boom. Hopefully, I shall pick up uh, more health. Click. 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 Hey, you don't forget that one, didn't you? <laughs> Click. <laughs> we out. Hey, it's Ada. Ada. What was that all about? Yeah, Ada. Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. 
Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. Oh? <laughs> as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? All right. We'll do this your way, for now. Ah, so now she follows us. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's another boss fight coming up here, which I don't really want to do. But there is an easy way to us. To weasel out of it. Or at least uh, kind of like a wind button. <laughs> Ha! Ah, another safe room. Is there anything in here? Nope. I want that piece of paper, though. Sewer Manager Facts. User list of the connecting facility. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she'll be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure, con measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Secretary, Chief, Umbrella Headquarters. So we know uh, the police chief is coming through here. For reasons it probably shouldn't have been. Take this ribbon. I shall save. Yeah. Control room. Uh, that sucks, but whatever. Fucking that Leon. Woman was... I have to talk to her. I never would have done that. <laughs> Ada would have been dead as fuck if that were me. Can I pick up the map with her? Yes. Come back here, bitch. The longer you run, the, the worse your punishment's gonna be. I mean, you're dying already, so... It's not like you got much hope now. It'll just be a painful death. Nah. Nah. That was some shot. She shot my gun out Don't of my hand. Move. You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? <laughs> who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. Oh, William that's another Birkin. reason to kill you. What? Your husband. John's dead. He became one of those zombies. 
My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... precisely... my husband, William. Oh. And it's all Umbrella's fault. Experimented on himself. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. Bucky Farrell, what's up? And this it's game is, is pretty awesome. I love this game. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. So now we're getting like a, a flashback basically of what happened. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Oh. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. So I guess at this point, it was William. either inject oh himself my. or die. So Hold on, darling. Himself. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. I, I don't, I don't know if here. I would have uh, chose that same path. Because, I mean... You created the fun. You know what's gonna happen. Retrieve the sample here. Uh, really I, I definitely Roger. not want to become that. Yeah, I want to kill that, but after that, you're gonna wind up killing everything. <laughs> Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there. Yeah, Farrow, this is like, this was the first Shut horror game. Uh, the ho you horror, freak. horror game I ever played. We're stopping it! What is this thing? I have very fond memories of this game. Hurry! That <laughs> death. What, what is this thing? Oh, well, sucks to be you. Later, Brad. So and those rats went were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. No. <laughs> Kick her ass, Ada. Fucking kill her. Ah. Peace out. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. I don't know if I would have said that. I was like, <laughs> well, I guess I don't get to kill her. <laughs> uh, do I need to pick up any of this stuff? Yeah, I need to go back to Leon. Leon. I think I need to go to Leon. Maybe I need to go to Leon. Let's see. Yeah, I can go this way, so that's what I'm gonna do. Ah! Oh! Yep, that's our boss fight. <laughs> right, look at that, Leon pulled through, even though Ada. he's shot in what appears to be the heart. <laughs> 